Hey you guys, an American to review. Well, I uh, saw the uh, Facebook ad for the new Ghost Pepper uh, uh, donuts over at Dunkin' Dog Nuts. Uh, so I stopped after uh, going through uh, Mongup uh, Wildlife Management and uh, on the way back and uh, picked a couple up. I've already had uh, like two of them. They're actually pretty good. The spice is actually... Uh, quite mild. They leave you a little bit of a tingle, but overall it's not too bad. So, either way. They're easily tolerable. Especially for anyone who's used to eating spicy stuff, this is basically nothing. It gives you a little bit of tingle, a little bit of burn. It's nothing really. For somebody, for example, <clears throat> back of the throat though. Get you like chili flakes, but either way, uh, for somebody like my girlfriend who can ha hardly handle black pepper, her mouth will probably be on fire. But for those who are used to general hot sauces and stuff like that, this would probably be the equivalent. It's really nothing, uh, nothing real harsh or anything. It's actually a nice, mild, sweet burn. You got enough sugar in there, of course, with the frosting and everything. So. If you're listening, Dunkin' Dog Nuts, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, of course, if you all get offended. I would prefer it maybe two, maybe even three times spicier, but where it sits is pretty well off for most of the people who are used to low-end stuff, but usually when people grab ghost pepper, they're thinking they're going to grab something that's going to be really hot. This is relatively mild. It's it's there. You can taste a, You can taste a little bit of nip on it. But overall, it's really not much of anything uh, as far as being significant. People hear ghost pepper and they're thinking somewhere, probably not actually like the real ghost pepper at about a million Scoville units, but still somewhere up there maybe. Somewhere maybe halfway, halfway that or maybe a quarter, whatever. But people expect there to really be a, really be some fire behind it, but it's it's pretty mild in general. It's like a, it's like a hot like a hot sauce. It's really nothing serious. No. No. And if you guys wanted to have it live up to the ghost pepper name, you know, not really disappoint people. I was expecting something pretty darn serious. Then I might actually regret eating. Uh, but it's it's not. They're actually pretty pretty mild and sweet and whatnot. And I guess in that sense they're fairly enjoyable. But I wouldn't quite call them ghost pepper. Yeah. Probably contains some ghost pepper additive or whatever. But they're nothing serious. I wasn't sure when they gave it to me. If this was the ghost pepper one, I wasn't really expecting pink frosting. But it works. An American to review, I'd give them... I'd say as far as it sits balance-wise and everything, just in general, maybe a 4 out of 5. They're actually pretty good. I would prefer a little bit more nip, but that's because I went... Ghost pepper, let me give them a try. I like hot stuff. Sometimes stuff that I actually regret eating, but I like to eat it that way. <laughs> like uh, my Fiery Fool hot sauce. Uh, it was a pepper sauce. Without additive, it was supposed to be one of the hottest sauces without additive. And it didn't have any additive. And depending on how much I put on there, I could heavily regret eating it. Especially when I first got back out of the hospital after cancer treatment. My stomach wasn't ready for that stuff, and it hurt quite a bit. But, um, either way. So, American to review. Take care, y'all. Bye.